Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2015-16, yeah, Connor McDavid hunting, upper deck, OPG Platinum Hockey, four box, random team break number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to these folks right here. One spot gets you three teams, so let's triple you up. One, two, and then there's three to make, we sold 10 spots to make 30. No Golden Knights, so let's cross that off. And let's roll it and randomize it. Uh, five and a four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Jim down to John. There we go. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got the Ottawa Senators all the way down to the Colorado Avalanche. All right, so Jim with the Senators, Jack with the Sharks, John with the Canucks and the Flyers, Logan. M with the Preds, Jack B with the Blues, John R with the Rangers, Jack with the Canadians, Jonathan S with the Blue Jackets, Todd, you have the Oilers, Philip, Maple Leaves and Penguins, Todd with the Caps, John R with the Flames, John M with the Lightning and the Panthers, John R with the Kings, Jim with the Coyotes, John, Last Spot Mojo, Dallas Stars, Logan with the Wild, John with the Blackhawks, Logan with the Red Wings, John McCall with the Jets, Jonathan Spears with the Sabres, Todd with the Islanders, Jim with the Bruins, Philip with the Ducks, John with the Hurricanes, Jonathan Spears with the Devils, and John McCall with the Colorado Avalanche. So let's sort by column A by, oh, actually we're going to sort by column B by your first name right there, or by the first names of the teams. That is, Red Wings for Bruins is an offer out there. Jim, if you're interested. All right, now while you're considering trades, let's see which four we're going to do. So there's stacks of four right there. We'll roll one of these. I think I like, I like that one right there. One, two, three for the left side, and then four, five, six for the right side. And it's one. So we're going to do the left side right here, and this side we will save four. This is random team three. We'll save for random team four. So that's RT4, RT4, RT4. All right, and uh, I'm going to hit the pause button, and we're going to see, uh, see if there's any trades when we come back. So stick around. Welcome back, folks. There were some uh, trade offers out there, but ultimately no trades. So that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Thanks, everybody, for getting into all this. Appreciate it. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everybody. Did we see a McDavid yet? I think Jason was suggesting that we had not seen any uh, Connor McDavid as of yet. Maybe, uh, maybe this is it. This is the case. This is the set of four boxes where it's going to deliver. That would make that would make Todd very happy, who has the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, 
there were two McDavid cards last night, but no autograph. Gotcha. That's what Matt's saying. All right. Let's see what happens here. Gotcha. Joe saying rookie retro gold McDavid out of 25 was pulled. Do those still sell well? I'm imagining they do. Okay, Joe, Joe P saying about 100, 150. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's not bad at all. All right. Well, let's see what we got in this one. Good luck. Mario Lemieux die cut. Claude Giroux. We got tracks, Garrett Sparks. I like the way those tracks look. Look at this. Marquee rookie Connor McDavid. Do these sell sell pretty well? Is he having a good season? Is he the real deal? There's no 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 bust factor here. Still 10 15 bucks a pop, huh? Nice. There's Rick Nash tracks. There's a uh, refractor, Connor McDavid. Matt G says Connor McDavid having a great season. There's the rainbow. I, I like that they print out the parallels right there. Rainbow McDavid. All right, so that's a couple for Todd already. Joe P saying that the that the other McDavid maybe dropped a little bit, maybe five, ten bucks a pop, but the rainbow one, thirty bucks a pop. There's red prism, a Milan Lukic to one forty nine. But did Todd get the Oilers yesterday too? There's Grant Fuhrer to ninety nine. Joe Thornton, white ice to 199. And there's our autograph. There's Jacob De La Rose, rookie autograph. What's he up to these days? This is for the Canadiens. Jack, is he good? I'd like him to be good. Because by now we should know, right? This is back in 2015 16, so by now we should know. Out of 125, and there is Andrew Shaw autograph. Are there not supposed to be two autos? Oh, yeah, it's only supposed to be one autograph per box, but Joe P saying there's your two auto box. So, oh, how often do these two auto boxes happen? It's been a while since I've opened these. Uh, that's for the Blackhawks. That will be for who's got Chicago? John McCall. One or two per case is all right. Thanks. All right. That was box one. Here it comes, box two.
pod saying I could get the Oilers 20 more times and not hit a McDavid auto. <laughs> well, you never know. We still have four boxes to go. I want it to happen. So what does a McDavid autograph out of here go for? This rookie auto out of OPG Platinum. TJ, what's going on? 500 plus? Woo! Now I think I saw Jason Jaspi say earlier that even in like non-rookie products, that McDavid is pretty much like like Mike Trout, like each of his autographs will still sell for a couple hundred a pop, just like that, you know, and then more depending on product and parallel. So good. Well, I'm glad he. I'm glad he's. Glad he's the real deal. See some of that gold sparkle there too. Right there. There's your of uh, Varlamov to twenty five purple. And it's Duncan Keith. That's your seismic gold, 49 out of 50. That will be for Chicago. That will be for John McCall. There's Charles Hudden, white ice to 199 for the Canadiens. And your autograph is Andrew Ladd. For the Winnipeg Jets. Should be another one. And that will be for John McCall in Winnipeg. Perry, tracks, got Jonathan Taves, die cut, another die cut here for the Lightning, got Slav Rainbow, got Mike McCarron, Rainbow, P.K. Subban, and we got Yusi, Yusi, Saros, Trax, there's a, there's a Jack Eichel marquee rookie as well, nice, two boxes to go. Was there supposed to be a second auto in here? Sometimes there is, I thought there would be one too. Good luck, everybody. 
I know. Why don't you Why don't you guys break all of this with Jason yesterday? He would have. He would have definitely had, enjoyed this a lot more. I just need to watch more hockey. That, that's all. But this is good though. I get to I get to absorb all this, all this uh, sort of hockey knowledge. By like, just by doing it more often. So I suppose it's good that I do this. I did. It just. I've just. I don't know. I just need more time, Todd. I've run out of run out of sports time. By the time I watch baseball, football. Basketball, soccer, NASCAR, golf, tennis. I don't have enough hard drive space in my head for uh, for hockey. I'm afraid. There's Grant Fuhr tracks. There's Vladimir Tarasenko. Looks like another gold back there, too. That's black ice. 84 out of 99 for the St. Louis Blues. That will be for Jack. There's another gold here. And it's Wayne Simmons for the Flyers. Seismic gold to 50. 25 out of 50. And John McCall has a virus. There's white ice to 199. Matthias Janmark. And there is your rookie platinum auto, or your rookie auto, out of OPG Platinum, Jake Vertanian. A Vancouver Canuck. John McCall, last spot mojo, one of his last spot mojo teams. Oh, did he end up being a bust? That's what Joe P is saying. Matthew Subafield, we too good to break Panini uh, hoops? Yes. Uh, we've got to preserve these hands. But we'll ship them to you sealed. It's Nick Shore, tracks for the Kings. We'll let, we'll let you have the fun. P.K. Subban tracks. Ovechkin die cut. Got Carey Price die cut. There's Garrett Sparks. All right. Last box. I think. What are what do the people want to do after this? I only see a couple of ores come in. One from TJ, and one from Andrew Herman. That's it. And then now now Anthony. So unless those three people sold out a break, I don't think we have anything going on after this. What was, what was this one? Sure, Tanner? Yeah. Ooh, I was in about the last four boxes, but I don't think it's going to be Joe P. <laughs> it's going to be Joe P in the last four boxes. What does the side of the box say? Find. What does it say on the side of the box? Combination of dazzling parallel cards per box. Oh, there you go. 
You know, I don't have a TV here yet, JR, John McCall. I think our direct TV guy's setting it up now. What happened? Last box. Good luck, everybody. All right. Good luck. Steve Yeiserman. Corey Schneider tracks. We got Sergey Bobrovsky tracks. I like those team logo die cuts. Is Dylan Larkin still good? Do we still like Dylan Larkin? He's okay. He's, he's alright? It's just everything has dropped down in this class. <laughs> mm, except for Connor McDavid? Yeah. Because by now we should know like who the good guys are, right? Like after a few years or so. Well, basically, it's Connor McDavid hunting then. And we got Matt Pumple, Auto Senators. That's uh, Black Ice. He's got the Senators. That'd be for Jim. Jim with the Senators. There it is. Thirty-five out of fifty. There's Patrice Bergeron, Red Prism to 149. Uh, Max Pacchioretti to 199, White Ice uh, for the Canadiens. Another White Ice, Frederick Anderson to 199 for the Ducks. Maybe a low number McDavid parallel. No, Taylor Hall tricking me here. And we got Ron Hextall. For the Flyers, John McCall. There's old Hex right there. And the last few cards. And there you go. And there you have it, folks. I guess the Connor McDavid autograph hunt continues. We've got a couple Connor McDavid cards, but the uh, autograph hunt continues. So check it out for the uh, check out the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.